Hello, my name is Sean. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit these images at the bottom of the sample template you downloaded in the previous tutorials. Let's go to Photopia. Let's go to File and select Open. In this case, we're going to select the picture one. Now, what I'm going to do in the previous tutorial, I've managed to create a gradient here. I'm going to use the gradient tool, which is here. And I'm just going to click and drag left, right, up, down. You can always edit this by clicking on the gradient tool, move things around, delete saches, add new saches, double click, edit the color, change the color slightly, and once you're happy with this, you can click OK and then click and drag to add the colors that you like. Let's go back here. I'm just going to delete this. I'm just going to click here to add another one similar color to this. Drag it to the other side. I'm going to click OK and then click and drag. OK. Uh, let's put it like that. Okay, I'm happy with this. Now, I'm going to go to the Type tool. I'm just going to click here. I'm just going to type Option 1. I'm going to use the Type tool. I'm going to click on the Type layer and then change the font size. Change the font style. Change the font size again. And change the font color if I want and click OK. I'm going to use the Move tool now to move this Option 1 to this side here. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to go to File, select Save as PSD, click OK. Go to File, Save Export as JPEG. Make sure the quality is 100%, click Save and OK. Now I'm going to go to the Downloads, click here on the folder, and I'm going to highlight this, right-click, Cut, I'm going to go to my Images folder, right-click and select Paste. Now I'm going to replace the existing one. Go to my website and we'll be able to see now if I refresh that this picture is replaced by Option 1. I'm going to follow the same process now to change the Option 1 to Option 2. So I'm going to double-click here on the little letter T on the text layer and I'm just going to change the 1 to 2. I'm going to use the Move tool to make, move things around to make sure that it's in the center. I'm going to go to File, select Save as PSD, OK. I'm going to go to File, Export as JPEG, click OK, Save, and OK. I'm going to go to my Downloads, click on the folder, but this time, instead of Picture 1, it's going to be Picture 2. And uh, here, instead of Picture 1, I'm going to right-click, Rename, I'm going to change it to Picture 2. OK. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to right-click Cut. I'm going to go back to my Images folder. Right-click and Paste. Replace the existing one. Go back to the website. And if I refresh, I will be able to see here Option 2. I'm following the same process to do all the other pictures as well. So I'm going to double-click here on the layer, text layer. I'm going to change that to number 3. I'm going to go to the Move tool, move things around to make sure that it's in the right place. I'm going to go to File, Save as PSD, OK. I'm going to go to File, Export as JPEG, make sure the quality is 100%, click Save and OK. I'm going to go now to my Downloads. I'm going to change the name number here. Instead of Picture 1, it's going to be Picture 3 this time. I'm going to rename this PSD as well. Instead of picture 1, it's going to be picture 3. I'm going to highlight them both, right-click, cut them. I'm going to go back to the folder, right-click, paste. Replace the existing ones. I'm going to go back now again. I'm going to change now, double-click here. I'm going to change the 3 to 4. I'm going to go to File, select Save 
as PSD. OK. I'm going to go to File, Export as JPEG, Save. OK. I'm going to go back again to the Downloads, click. I'm going to change the name. So I'm going to right click, rename, change that to 4. And I'm going to right click here and rename, change that to 4. I'm going to highlight them both, right click cut them, go back to the folder, click here, select paste, right click select paste replace the existing ones. I've got two more images, number five and number six. I'm going to go here, double click here. I'm going to change the four to five. I'm going to go to file, save as PSD. OK, so you can see I'm following exactly the same process. File, export, JPEG, save. OK, I'm going to go to the download folder, change the number to picture rename it to picture 5 and I'm going to rename the PSD as well picture 5 highlight them right click cotton go back to the folder right click paste replace and is one more time I'm going to do this exercise I'm going to double click here on the option 5, it's going to change to option 6. I'm going to go to File, select Save as PSD, OK. File, Export as JPEG, Save, OK. I'm going to go to the Downloads, click on the folder, and I'm just going to rename this to Picture 6. I'm going to rename this to picture 6. I'm going to highlight them. I'm going to right click, select cut, go back to the website, right click, select paste, replace. Now, if I go back to the website and refresh now, all my pictures now have been replaced by option 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In the next video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert this into a links. Thank you very much for watching.